People, welcome to Star Citizen. Finally, we begin our journey in one of the most anticipated and probably um, biggest space simulation trading release ever. And uh, I'm of course not doing this alone. I'm doing this with my uh, buddy Space Cadet Spiral over here. Hello, how are y'all? And um, we uh, we decided to go ahead and play this game early and uh, provide you guys with some uh, some footage. We uh, talked about it uh, about playing this game since last year and since they uh, released the universe. Um, last January we decided to, to go with it and actually play it also because it was requested quite a lot by you guys so we are so excited to uh, to finally play this let's uh, go and explore it says here firearms declaration class 3 firearms must be declared on arrival clearance levels 3 or higher are allowed to enter area 18 without f or with firearms and this is what I'm talking about how detailed this is if you go here in the corner you can actually read this very small letters down at the bottom. Oh, I see Art Corp compliance. Ah, all right, that's cool. Mhm. Mm Not sure what this is. I guess this is the, the city blueprints. Yeah. Around. Or at least like yeah, like the main big buildings. All right, are you ready to explore? Oh, so ready. Actually, what does it say? Use planetary border control custom scan. Uh, okay. How do you do let's it? Be, let's get scanned. I guess it's over here. Oh, this is what we did before. Mm hmm Are we, uh... Are we... Uh... Sickness free? We know not to have any diseases, sir. Are we good to go? Thank you. Alright. Oh my goodness! Wow! Oh. Welcome... To Star Citizen. This is amazing. Look at this. Now there's a lot to do here, and the map is actually bigger than what they showed at E3. So let's go ahead and explore. Let's start here to our right. Okay. The medical units. You have no bottoms right now. I I saw another guy walking with no bottoms. Do I have bottoms? Yes. Okay. You are a floating torso. Okay. So I see what you were talking about with prices. Yep. It's one click. Not sure what these names lists are. Gatewood M Rivers S Camarillo. Hmm. Maybe it's like small details like maybe someone, you know, people involved with the game or or maybe it's supposed to be like I don't it's know. a Stanton unit. Maybe these are people apart from the the medical unit. Anyway, uh, so here you can actually see the items, the medical items that you can buy, and buying does actually work like this, where you have the physical item and you actually need to wait. What? Hmm. You can go in there. Oh, I guess that guy died. I guess that's where you spawn if you die. Ah. I see. He got out of it, and I cannot enter it. Okay. Oh. Looking good, man. I like his face. His mask. <laughs> he, he didn't like me staring at him. He backed up. <laughs> what is this shady alley over here? Uh oh. Well, good. You have pants back. Oh, Very they're dirty. gone. Here's some magazines. This magazine's the, the the grate at the ceiling actually brings a good shadow to it. This game's so gorgeous. Ah, here we have the the ghetto medical unit where you can sell your kidneys, which we cannot enter. Ah, oh. to enter it. <laughs> Zone two. And, and here we would do. Shady deal at the black market. Oh, shady like, deal. Hey, 
You want some? You want some rockets? I, got, I can get you some rockets for half the price. You got the stuff? I got the cash. You got the stuff? Mm-hmm. All right. Do a subtle handshake. Some suitcase. Is this a commercial over here? I think it's like ad for Anvil Aerospace. So it's like one of the uh, ship companies. I see. And here's Misk. Um, another ad for like they're like oh, the yeah. freelancers, so like trading ships and stuff. Now is that a space bar? It looks like it. Yep. G lock. Okay. Hold on. Before can we check this out real quick. It's Where? A small thing. Where? This sign over here. What does this say? I do not see. Oh, these are the docks. Oh, there you are. Huh, is this where we would get on our ships? No, that's a different place. Okay. I was wondering what this is. Like, what I kind of like about this game is that, like, each sign, map, and stuff actually has words to read. Which might sound weird, but a lot of games don't. A lot of games are just blurry scribbling. Mm-hmm. Alright, do you want to go to the space? Oh, wait. What is what's this? What's this? Trade Development Division. Wow. Job well. So you can get a jobs job. Legacy? Maybe this is where you get jobs. This is gorgeous. It's so quiet compared to outside. Customer service, nobody's here yet. I think you're right. I think this computer job well terminal. I think if you want like a contractor job, you get it over here. Yeah. Oh my god, look at this view! Look at wow, look at that ship by the way. How much of you, this oh you're more of the ship's expert, you know what that is probably. That it uh it's uh like one of the Andromedas or something like that. It's a... Uh, it's like a versatile ship. I think you can use it for like trading. I don't know. There's like three versions of that, and one of them is multi-purpose, and then another one uh, is Actually, more for NPCs down there. exploration. Yeah, I think that one's the multi-purpose uh, one. So that one is one I want at some point. Also, that area is very industrial with all the fucking smoke. Yeah, from the factories. So, do you know how much of this will be uh, explorable by us? the game is fully released or is that just purely outside you know you can look at it but you can't go there no eventually you, you should be able to like explore whatever you you could see and whatever you can walk on okay so like but every single one of those buildings you think we will eventually be able to go to I don't know if you can enter them but you can walk but on the bottom of the streets or no yeah I believe so okay that would be awesome I really hope so I mean, again, it depends what you mean with bottom of the streets. I mean, we are high up in the sky. Yeah. I don't know. I just mean, like, like uh, off in the distance, uh, those buildings right now where you can't really see any details, can I walk from here all the way over to there, you think? Well, I don't know by then. Okay. Now you can't, obviously. Now they're just, you know, there. Yeah, I was just but saying. They don't have to worry about us going there because we can, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm just... any details in it yet, but, you know. I'm just curious, you know, what, what the what it'll be like <clears throat> job well I swear to god this is Steve Jobs legacy <laughs> huh. alright who is up for some drinks at the space bar mm -hmm. me too for me Get in the zone. Auto zone. What kind of what kind of beverage do they have? Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I love this place. This is like I don't know. It's like retro futuristic, you know what I mean? Mm. So this guy's figured out how to dance. song better not be copyrighted. Well, here's a beer here. Oh yeah, there are all types of drinks. There's wine, beer, 
cocktails, martinis. This looks like a Long Island or a Tom Collins or something. <laughs> and will they? Bartender's not doing shit. Yeah, you lazy piece of crap. This is a hipster bar. He's too cool. I like the TVs. Yeah. They this got some commercials on there. I like the look oh, at. I wish they had space strippers on there though. Well, look at their. Uh, uh, look at this engine for like part of their art, you know, for the place. That's kind of cool, it? huh? Mmm, canola likes. Oh. <laughs> now, uh, a lot of MMOs have it to where you can uh, you can drink and like for example, uh, Skyrim or not not MMOs RPGs. Uh, Skyrim, you can you know drink and if you drink too much, you actually get drunk uh, and do something. And I don't know about The Witcher. I don't think you can actually, but uh, yeah, you can. Oh, you can. Mm -hmm. So. How do you think they'll uh, do it for this game? I, I would imagine if they have a bar here, you will be able to drink and perhaps maybe do something. Uh, so maybe actually it goes even to the point to where you get drunk and if you actually get into a spaceship and somebody checks you and you're flying under influence, you get like a ticket or something. Yeah, yeah, like in, in a, you know, but only in one of the, uh, the zones where they monitor it. Yeah. All right, okay. we got another shady. Oh, this alleyway. Nice, nice. Two arc duo. With some graffiti. <laughs> this place looks shadier than the last place. Yeah, this is where you fucking get killed and raped, pretty much. Yeah, look at this garbage. This is really get combustion really cool. over here. Huh? Garbage combustion. Oh yeah. You want to dispose of a body? <laughs> this <It's> here. <laughs> this is the place to do it. Oh my gosh, I wonder if they'll actually do that. Like so you said if you do if you commit a crime in uh monitored space um as part of the new updates, then you can become a criminal and you can get up to rank 5 crimin uh you know, like criminal level. Um so I I think uh, probably not the case now, but later on, I'm hoping that they will have it to where if you commit a crime and nobody sees you do it, even if you are in a certain area, like on here uh, or something, then you are okay uh, if if you can dispose of all the evidence. Mm hmm. But look down here. There's a lot down here. So I'm kind of wondering, when I look at this design, it's kind of always fun to speculate how the future will be. And I, I love the design of, the, uh, of this. I mean, again, it's kind of like Mass Effect D, also Deus Ex, Blade Runner. I don't think the future will actually look like this. When, mm. I, um, when I see what we're building and stuff, everything always becomes bright and there are a lot of windows. If you look at this, it's all very closed up. No windows, metallic cold hmm <laughs> well do you think like do you th like these look like warehouses for the most part if we go back to the bar uh it's it's got more windows and everything don't you think like th this looks like more and uh you know this doesn't look like residential places yeah I see what you mean. so there's astro armada is that where we can go buy ships Yes. Okay, so we went all the way around. Uh, do you want to go to this this uh, outlet before we go there, or can we? You cannot. No, let's go. Ooh, but we can like window shop. Oh, I, I like the jacket jeans. I would like. Let's see. What do you have here? Ooh, I like this shirt, the brown one. That's nice looking. Mm. I'm going for the this one because it looks a little like my denim jacket. 
Ah. Jack to the right. I see. That looks nice. Yeah, this is pretty cool. So you could go casual clothing at some point instead of wearing armor. Yeah, I assume so. Like if you if you if you dock, you uh, be able to do that. Yeah. Before we go to Astra Armada, let's check out this last place, which I think hope you will be excited about because they're weapons. Oh. The weapons, and I guess we can already buy stuff. I think, right? You can. They are expensive though. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> well, only that energy rifle is really expensive. Where's the energy rifle? Is that... It's the upper left. That's 9,999. The other ones are about 1,200, 1,800, 1,200, 1,400. So I'm hoping there are some ships for sale at that Astro Armada because I want to see that so then then I think that will give uh, give us a good idea of like, you know... I don't think, I don't think you can buy it there yet. Okay. Alright. Well, if, if you can... Uh, um, I th I think that would help us like know you know what what how much things are worth. For example, oh, he got stuff under the counter too. Yeah, like and here's this like 10 millimeter ammo. Oh, never mind. That's the the ammo. Oh my now. God! What? Have you seen this hat? Whoa! What is that? That is pretty cool looking. Huh. Best prices in the verse. You see some targeting targeting practice as well. They have those alien things. Oh like yeah. Birds. This is pretty cool. Cubby blast since two thousand uh nine hundred thirty two. So here's a ballista. Yeah, huh? I'm kind of sad about it. Like I realized the other day, like I was born too early, and like that people in my lifetime will probably not like have real like space travel. Like we'll probably send somebody to Mars while I'm alive, but I don't. Probably I, not like actually sp making space stations, etc. So I don't think we'll actually ever really have space travel unless they do like like they're working on something. I thought where it's like you know where where. Uh, like the warping where they basically like fold uh, like uh, the demonstration that I've seen is they fold a piece of paper uh, and like they put a, a dot and you say how do you get this dot to where touch did you s where do you see this? Did you see this in uh... Fucking, um, I saw, I've seen this in two movies literally what you're saying right now I've seen this in Event Horizon and I've seen this in Oh my god, it was a Matthew McConaughey movie. Hmm. Not Gravity, the other one. I don't know. I... I'm not sure where I've seen it. Uh, I know one, uh... I thought, uh... I think I've seen it twice. But the, the, uh, the last time I saw it's the only time I remember it. And that was when, um... Someone was just explaining it to me. And that was the... That was the explanation they gave me. That, you know... Mm-hmm. Uh... Let's go over here. Alright. Uh... No. Wait, oh, to Astro Armada? No. Okay. Over here. Okay. This is where we went before, isn't it? No, it's not. Nope. Oh, very nice. Wow. <laughs> we can look over it. That's Oh wow, look down. That's cool. Mhm. Mm 